And one last uh, set of tips here, attribute handling. Um, basically, remove any unwanted attributes from your workspace, and again, it will save memory and save time. Again, beware of large lists, and I'm going to show you something in a moment to, uh, to show you what that would be a problem with. And don't store geometry as an attribute. Um, sometimes you have to do that, but try and drop it again as quick as you can. Um, don't read a database. A spatial database using a non-spatial reader. If you're going to read the geometry column into an attribute, that would be uh, that would be bad. So let's have a look at that. Um, an example here. Basically, I've got this address data. It's got a whole bunch of attributes on there, and um, I'm using the attribute remover transformer to get rid of many of those that I can that I don't need. Um, and by removing them, I'm reducing the amount of memory used in this workspace and um, making it more uh, resource friendly. And the point and area overlay, I just wanted to show that I've got a list in there. I've called it address list. Well, maybe if maybe I didn't know what the list name does and I just type something in for the sake of it, um, that would be a bad idea because now what I'm going to get when I run this translation is I'm going to get a list of addresses for every zip code. And if I query one of these zip codes, what we'll find is that I've managed to add 14,000 attributes onto that data by merging 1,000 features with, 100, with 13 attributes each, and that's given me nearly 13 or 14,000 different attributes on there that I probably didn't really need. So just beware of lists. Don't use a list if you don't need to use it. Just let's leave that blank. It's not a compulsory field. Let's not carry 13,000 attributes through there. I don't need that information. And um, so, yeah, that's just a few tips um, for speeding things up, reducing memory usage as well. Remember to look in the log right down at the bottom at the peak process memory. That'll tell you what the peak was. And remember, if you get above what your system's got, we're going to start caching things to disk, which will slow it down. So the more you can reduce that memory, the faster you will make your um, translations.